Okay, here's what I've done so far today on the American Speedster. I, I did a little bit of alignment on the front end. I think the front end's probably right where it needs to be, but uh, we'll write it before we lock anything in on it. And uh, I put the parking brake on, and this is something if anybody else is making one of these, we determined that this is a parking brake just because it works so well as a parking brake. It comes up, pinches the tire, and it can't turn. And we noticed there's holes in these aluminum side pieces. So what I did was I drilled another opposing hole in the uh, PVC frame, and then I put a bolt right here, and then what you do is you just take and lock that on there, and then you can't turn that wheel. It will not turn, so then all you gotta do is just put it down and you're ready to go again. So that come out pretty good. Um, got the seat just kind of laid out right now. The, uh, this little handrail, we'll have to mount that. And that goes on the bottom part of the back seat bracket and then we'll have to mount here on the wooden frame. It looks kind of good with the seats on there. And uh, I was kind of almost uh, disappointed <laughs> in the amount of wood that I don't have. I bought the wood based on the uh, sheet on materials needed and then I noticed that we don't have any wood at all whatsoever for this basket back here. I was going to try to get that basket on today but um, since I don't have the wood for it I'll have to figure out how much wood I need and I have to end up going and getting some more wood for that then. And uh, the ladies wanted a cup holder and they showed me one that was made with a cup holder here beside this driver's side seat. And I thought about maybe talking to them, see if they'd want a cup holder here for the driver. And then maybe a little uh, cup holder up here for the uh, passenger. So we'll, we'll just have, we'll have to work that out. And then they want mirrors, or a mirror. I kind of recommended that they put a mirror on it. So I found them a nice mirror. It's an ATV mirror. And we'll mount that probably up here, sticking out a little bit to the left. And uh, they want lights. And uh, this is... It's a pretty good place to put lights right on. This has got a nice front end on it anyway, so a good place for lights and tail lights can go back here probably on the bumper or something of that nature. Or even mount it up on the back or whatever. That's another thing we can kind of discuss out. And then uh, they found a little uh, squeeze bulb horn to put on here. So anyways, and then uh, we talked about the fabric for the top. I stopped at two places today check on getting fabric for the top and we're uh, kind of crunching some stuff out and then I painted the top piece so this is what color it's going to be green and I think that'll look nice with the gray seats and uh, I think we're going to go with the top about the same color as the seats the gray on the seats it will be the top fabric as well and uh, so we're getting inches along closer and uh, um, I guess I'm done today. I really would like to have had that wood for. Oh, I know what else I did. I went ahead and put these bolts in these caps. So all these caps are bolted in. And I bolted on the steering. We put this little thing here so the steering can't slide up out of there because this is kind of somewhat our design on the steering system, I guess. A little bit of it, not all of it, not much of it actually, but some of it is ours. We decided to use this for the steering and uh, throughout the process this here was able to slide right on out of there so we uh, changed and put this color on there and now if anybody needed to remove that steering column they can just pull this bolt out and the whole thing will slide up out of there so I don't know if you'll ever need to do something like that but at any rate that's that's the way it's made so and uh, other than that I think that's about all I did to it today so uh, Thanks for watching.